guys, Sand7 here, and a number of people have asked me how I level up quickly. Well, this is how. I head over to Dungeon 4, second base, and I've done this so many times that it has become second nature at this point. I want Spirit Mage with the aggro simply because I want him proccing more. And I will be bringing in all the true, um, shotgun dwarves as well as pumpkin duke because those are the three I need to level. I believe... Pumpkin Duke is just a master when it comes to raiding because he boosts every troop, and you'll see what I'm talking about here. And what I'm waiting for now is to see how they split. And the fact that I have a 5 of 5 sprint on my Pumpkin Duke, so he's going to come in a little bit later. If I bring him in now, bring him in too early, I'm going to end up dealing with execute. Oh, never mind, they're good. <laughs> um, basically, if Spirit Mage doesn't pop him with a few magic missiles, and they're full health, I end up having to waste a spell. I have to waste usually a restoration, which is fine. I, I don't mind the restoration, but wasting the angel spell is not what I want to do. And as you can see, the boost from Pumpkin Duke has them guys just flying along. Spirit Mage is taking care of that. We're going to wrap this up very shortly. And I accidentally brought in my baby paladin. Now, I do want him getting XP, but not right now. It's really, I want Spirit Mage up, and that's why I usually have heroes missing. If you see I have heroes missing, it's because, well, I'm leveling only three of them, or two of them, because I like to spam the button. No magic used. And that's the great thing about this one is, all right, look, payout, 6,600. As long as you're just using a restoration, you will never have to worry about... Um, you know, gold. I mean, you, your magic's provided for you in this raid itself, which that is a huge bonus. Now, the other spells I have there are kind of safety net spells because I don't want to have to... I'm not going to wait, by the way, the 10 minutes. I gem it. If a hero goes down, I gem it every time. That's... I'm impatient. What can I say? Um, and if Spirit Mage picks up the aggro here, I will bring in all the troops. When I mean the aggro, I mean from this base right here. And he does, so we bring them all in. Um, hopefully we bring them all in. Come on, guys. Get in. There we go. Now, I don't want those guys splitting off to the left. I want to keep them together. And this is perfect. Because they'll stay down there. And they're about to get the boost right before they fight Assassin. And now... And she's dead. I probably lost two of them. And with Executioner being full, I don't think I have to worry. Because, well, everybody's boosted by Pumpkin Duke. That's why he's here. That's why I'm using him to level, even though really all I care about is Spirit Mage right now. And another thing is, I, you know, I need a few honor badges to get that 30,000 to get it there. And right now, nine per each attempt not bad. I need 2,500. And, of course, the arena will help. I mean, I'm not getting paid as good as I was, but 270 an hour. And I'll go one more run for you, just to show you. But that's how I do it. I do over and over and over and over again. And if you didn't notice or pay attention, it pays 1,687 experience points. So, I mean, it's not a ton. I mean, it's like 550, 2.5 or something. But it's good enough for me. In the fact that I can do... It takes about... Um, anywhere from a minute to a minute and 15 to finish this. So... I... Obviously I use gems. I'm not losing... I'm not having to worry about farming my smurf for mat, for gold to pay for magic. I'm not having to wait for true pyres or gem on the, um, on the troops. I basically... The only thing I have to worry about is paying the 100 gems to grab 5 more turns. And that means each 5 turns... Now, Spirit Mage, you might think, is in trouble there, but no. Mad, remember, Magic Towers? Nah, they're worthless. Now, I'm going to be dealing with 2 heroes over here, but we'll see. Everybody's all juiced up and ready to go. I'm a little bit worried about it. Never mind. <laughs> Spirit Mage, saving me again. We'll just walk through it, go ahead and take it out, and as you can see, a minute and 12 seconds. And, well, right there, I just gained 1687 for each hero in this video. And didn't take too long, but it's going to take 
a long time to get her up to six stars. And it's a grueling process, it's a grind, but well, that's the only way I can do it now because I will show you what it looks like rating and basically it's like looking at a bunch of Christmas lights everywhere. And well, <laughs> I've found that dungeons are by far the best spot and it is far less costly gem wise everything if you want to keep going for experience hit the dungeons guys if you're at high might um, like I am alright well that's it for this one I just figured I'd give you guys um, my strategies for leveling up quickly and hey if anybody has some better ones for me um, I know where has showed he's got a video on his site and it is this base right here it pays 2100 I believe um, he can do it with just his spirit mage and his druid. Well, unfortunately, I can't. Um, once I get to six stars, I believe I'll be able to. He uses no magic. He just flies through it. It pays out one more um, shard. And by the way, guys, you might be thinking, well, you know, I'm not doing skull dungeons. No, I am doing experience dungeons. But I will show you that I'm grabbing shards. I mean, I got 488. It pays out four and... I get a pretty good drop rate usually. I don't know what it is. I don't record everything, so I, I don't have it calculated. But it, it's all about the experience for me right now. So, all right, that's it for now. Sand 7 out.